members of BFW. In fact, I would like to quote a little paragraph from a book that Mr. Saidesh Shade wrote, and I'm privileged to have Shail Mishra, who I consider as one of the great leaders of BFW and the Indian machine tool industry. Always above, but not to be highly leveraged. And that was a point that he deeply respected about BFW. Today, as we were briefed, BFW's new manufacturing plant in Hosu is a factory for the future. Plant 3, as we've been told, strengthens BFW's commitment to contributing to India's ongoing growth trajectory and realizing the vision of achieving a $30 trillion economy by 2047. With their enhanced manufacturing capabilities, we need to learn and be briefed that smart manufacturing also meets with smart reinforcing their commitment to self-reliance and indigenous manufacturing practices and for that I compliment and I congratulate you on this momentous for Atmanirbhar Bharat, inclusion of women at the shop floor in science and technology streams I believe is very very critical. Hence BFW's inclusion marks a great milestone to their objective. And I also believe that the manufacturing sector in India could focus on encouraging women who have temporarily left the workforce to care for young children to get back to work through induction and retraining initiatives. Sir, thank you. First of all, thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. And, uh, uh, BMW has always been a pioneer. It started very long time ago in 61, even when uh, machine tool was not a thought of industry for industrialists at that time to be there. But the Indian family, the Kutari family, thought that machine tool would be the backbone of manufacturing. And if India has to uh, become a manufacturing nation, developing nation, it has to be uh, having a good machine tool industry. And that's how it started. And then we have continuously grown, brought in uh, innovative products into the market. And that's what we are known for as uh, a company which brings in innovative products first in class before the uh, others follow. Uh, we've been continuously growing and after uh, the last 10 years have been a much faster growth than the industry. So obviously we have been falling short of capacity. In 2018 we started one more factory in Hosur and I think uh, all of you had covered that and this is our third plant in India. The, there are quite a few unique things about this plant which we thought we should challenge ourselves and uh, take this opportunity to implement such good processes. One is uh, the scale itself is massive. We didn't uh, really want to do incremental. Uh, we brought in uh, knowledge from many other industries. For example, from automobile, how do they build automobile, and why can't we build machines like an automobile? So you'll see the first time uh, assembly in a conveyorized way, first time where we are talking about tap time, where every 45 minutes a machine comes out of the factory. First time we are connected all the processes of the industry as an industry 4.0. Uh, the whole factory is connected, so you get transparent data everywhere. In fact, the customers will uh, also get connected, and so will be the supplier. So it will be a whole uh, connected ecosystem for machine manufacturing. And the third is the gender and other diversities. We looking at diversity as a holistic way. Um, we will have uh, about 30% of our shop floor employees who will be women. We are at about 17% in another year we will reach 30% and this is a very precision and high engineering industry. So the skill level of these engineers is also extremely high and they come from very, very uh, normal backgrounds from smaller towns where they've never gone out of the town. So it's been a wonderful experience to see uh, young girls doing those challenging work and the way they're picked up is extremely encouraging. Uh, this is also a very eco-friendly uh, campus that we are building. With this, we believe that we will have the uh, required technology processes
to scale our uh, levels to the next bigger stage. And all this have uh, come under an initiative that we have taken, which is called LEAP, and which is leadership through uh, ethical practices, agile processes, and partnerships. Thanks very much. Yeah, just about the campus, uh, it's a 54 acre campus. And uh, thinking that even we are left space for the future as well. Uh, they, in the first phase, there will be two uh, assembly sheds. Each one of them will be about uh, 20,000 square meter, uh, which is in one shed, uh, one of the biggest shed for a machine to make. So, and it will, in the second phase, we will have another set of third buildings. Two axis, four ton machine, two it will go up to a 55 ton machine, multi axis, multi purpose. So it will be a whole range of products. Okay. Sir, we know that. Uh, if we, we are trying to use technology as an enabler, as a complementing thing, not as a replacement thing. Right? So there are many things, where do you need, why do you need people there? It is so boring, we don't realize that they are not happy, but they come here because they need salary. Yeah. So we are trying to give them a better salary by giving them a much happier work, and they see value. And, so, I'm sorry, I, yeah. I have to start, start at, uh, I will uh, like to spend more than machines. Okay. With this, this plant will yeah. itself has 10,000 machine okay. capacity okay. and okay. So is it working on the full optimization level? No. No, no. Yeah. So over the years, years that you have already occupied. Yeah. So we at, at it, as of now working on optimization level. Yeah, yeah. No, we are occupied most occupied, of the yeah. But then you as we go on the productivity keep on. We have a provision for expansion. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. We can go three times of that. Yeah, yeah. three times. Yeah.